Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My channel is all about succulents and cacti, my balcony garden, and lots of house plants and my apartment. And today I have a special video for you. I'm sharing with you some of my favorite plants that have been bringing me joy this past month of March. And uh, usually I have some sort of theme um, around the plants. Um, you know, if they've given a lot of growth or they're brand new plants or something like that. But these plants are actually plants that I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to. Um, meaning that I just haven't fussed over them and just kind of let them be. And then all of a sudden I kind of take a second look at them. It's like, hey, you know, you're doing pretty good. So I'm going to give them a little bit of, um, you know, some time on the camera, let's say. And I'll show you what I have. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's start off with a succulent from the balcony. I always try to include at least one or two um, balcony plants, uh, either cacti or succulent. And this time, I am going to share with you my um, Kalinkoe Copper Spoons. Now, this one was actually a um, clearance plant that I got. I think it was Home Depot. No, it was Lowe's because Home Depot here doesn't have clearance um, from Lowe's. And you can kind of see the older leaves are looking a little bit tattered and, you know, um, not so great. But if you take a look right in there, you'll see a lot of green. And the copper spoons, the newer leaves, come in a silvery green. And then as they mature, they turn the nice copper color. And this one has shown a lot of new growth there. Down in here, turn it a little bit so I can show you. Down in here, you can see there, it's got a lot of growth right in there. And, um, you know, it's giving off brand new branches down there. So it's grown a lot. And this is a plant that I really just have not paid a whole lot of attention to out there. I've been fussing over some other plants that, you know, I thought needed a little bit more attention. So I gave her the water she needed when she needed it. But when I was out there looking to see which plants I was going to highlight this month, I noticed all of this new growth in there and um you know i kind of felt bad that i hadn't been paying so much attention to her but i'm so happy that she's happy out there um right now she is i have an east facing balcony so she is getting morning sun um but the sun right now here in arizona zone nine has been very mild we've had a wonderful winter going into spring it's been very mild so far but at the end of the week i know the temperatures are going to start rising into the upper 80s that sun is going to start getting harsh so i do have an umbrella patio umbrella that i open up and i protect this from the sun because um it's Although it's a succulent, very harsh sun, is particularly Arizona sun, will burn this baby. So I do protect it by opening up the umbrella and um, not letting that harsh sun, even, you know, late morning sun, burn it. Because once it's burned, you can't take that damage off. you got to take the leaf off or cut it off. Um, so I don't want to do that. I want to protect it and let all its new leaves grow into a beautiful copper. So this is the Kalinkoe Copper Spoons. It does have a cousin that I wanna get, which is the Silver Spoons. It has the same shape, maybe a little bit rounder in leaf uh, size, but it's silver um, and it's called the Silver Spoons. So I wanna get that cousin of hers, okay? So coming inside, this one, is a ficus. Let me take the little yellow sticky strip off my gnats. <laughs> this is a ficus macrame. 
Maclame, I think it's pronounced. And I had gotten this one in the fall from Plant Stand of Arizona. I had never seen it before and I thought it was such a unique plant. And, um, you know, well, why not? I'll add it to my uh, ficus collection. And I love it. Um, it was real quiet over the winter. I didn't water it all that much, but now you can see some new growth coming in there and it's starting to wake up but it's another one that I don't remember even taking any dead leaves off of this um, I do spritz it with some water and lemon juice mix to clean up the leaves and other than that it sits on my sh bottom shelf down there next to the ficus ruby and it's just no fuss at all. It does have a grow light on it, but I think that this little guy could easily take medium light, no problem. And I water when it's dry, basically. So it's, it's happy here in the plant room and it's starting to wake up, like I said, with that new growth. And this is the Ficus Maclame. I think that's how it's pronounced. So I love it. Okay, continuing on with plants here in the plant room. This one I had gotten, I think at the beginning of winter. This is um, the Maranta uh, prayer plant, the lemon lime. And it is such a beautiful specimen. I got this from a local nursery uh, right in the garden in North Phoenix. And it's just been giving off new leaves since I got it. Lots of new leaves. It hasn't um, flowered for me yet, um, but I'm hoping this spring it will. And I have lost maybe two or three bottom leaves that have turned yellow and I just cut them off, which is absolutely normal for an older leaf to die off. But in the same process, it's got, well, I can see at least three uh, leaves that are about to unfurl here and um, grow and it has more down in there too. So I watered this one when it's about the top uh, two or three inches are dry and um, just take it out of the basket and water it. I don't have a little saucer inside so I do take it out and put it on the table over a uh, something that can catch the water and let the water run through. Um, but this one sits on my shelf. You probably see it uh, in the background when I do videos there. Um, it is my backdrop. I could easily put this in a hanging basket, but I really like the way that it just kind of flows over the shelf there and takes up that space. I like the way that it looks behind me in a video. And it is about, oh, I'd say a good 10, 11 feet away from the seas facing window. It does get ambient light from the uh, grow lights that are in the room here. So it seems to like that medium to higher bright light it doesn't get any direct light back way back there but um it is there is a humidifier in here so it does i'd say i'd maintain about 50 percent 55 percent humidity in this room and it seems to like that one it, this one's actually doing better than its cousin the red marenta i have have up here that's been fussing and i think you know i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that one but um looks like it does good then it does bad but this one here is doing wonderful i it's another one that i didn't pay a whole lot of attention to and it's just always looking wonderful for me and i appreciate that of her so the maranta prayer plant lemon lime it's gorgeous isn't it okay next one is a hoya and I brought this one over from the living room. And this is my Hoya Pubicalyx. And I think this is a regular Hoya Pubicalyx. Although it does look like it has little speckles there. I don't think it's an actual splash because the speckles aren't as pronounced as a splash would be, I think. I have had this one... <clears throat> 
almost a year now. I got it at Plant Stand of Arizona in this six inch pot, but I have replaced the soil. It, it, it is in um, the tank screen stuff. Um, this isn't the Della tank, so that's in here. This is actually the cacti and succulent mix. Real chunky. And it grew these trails in the meantime that it's been in that window. I do attach them to the macrame with a little clip so it can grow up. And in that time, let me see if I can show you here. It's grown, growing these little leaves there. These have just opened up in the last couple of months. So even in the winter time, it's been growing leaves, but the, tr the little tendrils are growing also. And, you know, it's nice and full down below. I haven't had any issues really. Maybe one or two leaves have died off, which is normal. But other than that, I water when it's completely dry, along with the other Hoyas that are next to it when they're dry. I water them thoroughly. I do spray them with the miracle Grow Orchid fertilizer. I just spray right on to the leaves. I've started doing that. And um, especially now that it's going into spring into the uh, grow season. But I just love this Hoya Pubic Calyx. Of the Hoyas, I think this is probably my easiest one that's growing that I don't really have to fuss over out of all of them. Not that I have a whole lot, but of all of them, this is the easiest one. I even have a little cutting that was sent to me, um, and <clears throat> excuse me, that one's growing really well too. Didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it, and it's still just started growing long trails or tendrils here and growing leaves off of them too. And who knows, maybe it will bloom for me one day. One can hope. So the Hoya Puba Calyx is the next one that I love. And that's, you know, no fuss at all. And I really didn't pay a whole lot of attention to. Now, the last one, I'm actually going to have to take you off the tripod and take you over there to show you because I had really pretty much had given up on this plant. It wasn't dying, but it wasn't doing anything either. So I left it alone. Didn't even want to look at it. And when I did look at it one day, it gave me a nice surprise. So let me take you over there and I'll show you. Okay, we're back here against the wall next to my shelf. You all remember this guy, my Terry, my Raphidophora tetrasperma. I had done a video not too long ago sharing with you a new Raphidophora tetrasperma that I had bought that wasn't tissue culture because I realized Terry here was tissue culture. I didn't know a whole lot about tissue culture and I'm still not 100% knowledgeable of it, but I had cut the top off right up here and try to um, propagate the top of that of this uh, Raphidophora tetrasperma it did not take didn't take in sphagnum moss didn't take in water it eventually died so I left Terry alone okay and then one day when I was opening the door here to the closet I noticed this on Terry and a new leaf was start it, it was smaller than this when I first noticed it this was a good two weeks ago this leaf was starting to come out it's already opened up look how nice and big that is and it's already giving off another leaf in the process let me see if I can turn her around And it grew off of another node right here. It grew off of this node. Not, oh God, where is it? There it is. Not the node that I had originally cut. So I was, that's probably why I didn't even notice it at first. But Terry is growing again. And um, although... The tissue culture one are hard to propagate. 
they will grow from the original plant where you've cut it or near where you've cut it. So I strapped this part in now and I'm hoping that it will continue growing up the sphagnum moss pole. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm really happy with it. I, that, I mean, it was just unexpected. I was, wasn't even talking to Terry. And then all of a sudden, I see that she's uh, starting to grow another leaf here. I'm sorry, Terry, for ignoring you. But it seems like you just needed your own space and time to do your own thing. So there you have it. Isn't that wonderful? Let me show you the other tetrasperma just as a as an extra. So here is the other Raphidophora tetrasperma that I purchased. And it's growing a new leaf also. Let's see, there it is. So they're both growing. This one's just coming out of dormancy. And it's right in front of the window here. So I'm really happy that both of my tetraspermas are growing. Isn't that wonderful? So there you have it, friends. Those are the plants for the month of March that I've really just been kind of ignoring. <laughs> and they are doing wonderful and bringing me lots of unexpected joy, which is always wonderful when a plant brings you some unexpected joy. And, you know, sometimes you just have to leave a plant alone and not fuss over them and give them the basic necessities of water and fertilizer and things like that and then just leave them alone stop moving them around and stop you know picking at them or touching them or looking at them and let them do their own thing and sometimes they'll give you a wonderful surprise for just letting them be and letting them be themselves okay if you enjoyed this video friends please do give it a thumbs up that helps me out so very much and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do subscribe and so you don't miss any of my videos i will be doing a lot more um shop with me videos and i also do plan on doing a tour of the plant room then i've done the bedroom the living room um those tours i'll leave those right up here and so you can watch those but i do plan on doing one for the plant uh room okay thanks so much friends have a blessed day i will see you in the next video bye bye now